Hello and welcome to your tropical update for Hurricane Fiona and Invest 98L which we will get to after briefly talking about Fiona. Be sure to subscribe if you find this informative. Let's start. Firstly, talking about Fiona. The hurricane is now a Category 4 storm located just here in the top image which is 25.1 N71.7W with a pressure of 937 MB by far the strongest storm of the season. Fiona is still forecast to move just to the west of Bermuda during Thursday night into Friday morning. But with Fiona by then it will be moving very fast so flooding rainfall like we've seen in Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic won't occur. What is looking likely that is Bermuda will experience a few hours in the early hours of Friday strong Category 2 to 3 winds as the Category 4 storm passes just to the west. Hurricane watches are in force with tropical storm warnings in place, but the tropical storm warnings will likely be upgraded to hurricane warnings as the storm gets closer. Now before we move on to the area of interest which is now moving into the Caribbean, we just have to look at the satellite presentation of Fiona. With Fiona continuously building strong and powerful thunderstorms around the eye, this shows us that Fiona is in a very favorable environment and the hurricane is definitely taken advantage of that. With the eye getting smaller, Fiona could be going through an eye wall replacement cycle. Meaning that Fiona could weaken temporarily but this will allow Fiona to strengthen further in the next 6 to 12 hours. Right then, this system has got a lot of people out of their seats. Especially that many weather forecast models see this potentially entering the gulf as a category 4 or even 5. Let's break this down so we can get a better understanding of what this area is and what it is likely to do as it has an obstacle it must get past to do what the forecast models are saying. As you can see where it is. Invest 98L is a low rider meaning that it is at a very low latitude for the time of year. The coast of South America is very close by and land interaction could contribute to the development of this system making it take longer to organize or even preventing it from organizing. However, according to the forecast models the system is to start moving in more of a northwesterly direction, which will allow it to develop in a very favorable environment. At the moment the system is looking a bit disheveled. However, the system is likely to organize and tomorrow could look a lot better as it enters the Caribbean. It's a system we must keep an eye on day by day to see what has changed. Now here is the latest GFS model run of where this system could be on the 1st of October but you remember this is subject to change daily but there has been great agreement between the two main forecasting models over the last day or so of where this system will be well over a week in advance. But once Invest 98L organizes and gets a center of circulation, we will be able to get a much clearer picture of where and how strong this system might be. As you saw from the model runs from the previous image it will generally move northwest through the Caribbean and then possibly thread the needle between the Yucatan and Cuba or make landfalls in either the Yucatan or Cuba. However, most models are predicting an outcome similar to this with a storm of significant strength somewhere in or near the Gulf of Mexico. But like I've said, it's far too early to produce an accurate forecast on this system but it is worth mentioning so you are informed of the potential of this. That's all I have today, be sure to subscribe and like for more updates like this all season long. Until then see you soon.